everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today, this long requested video of our nighttime routine. Obviously, as you can tell, it is not nighttime, but we get started in the afternoon. So I'm gonna go make their feeds because we make all the feeds in the after early afternoon and we soak them all because I like giving it time to get wet, for the food to expand, all that sort of thing. So I'm gonna make all the feeds now and then I'm gonna take you along with me this evening and show you what we actually do on the nighttime routine. But yeah, let's get started. So this is my little feed room. I'm gonna make all their feeds up now and I'm gonna show you sort of what I put in. I'm not gonna go into too much detail about what I feed them and kind of the ins and outs because that's a whole separate video. I'm gonna do a video on that soon because that's another requested one. But today we're gonna do night routine. And what we do is they all get a feed at night because it's a very good way of keeping weight on. And I just, I like coming down and checking them. We always come and check at night to make sure they're not colicking, to make sure no one's tangled up. Funny story, one year, one of my ponies, actually, we came down and checked them and they were tangled up in their hay net, which is another reason we actually don't use hay nets, which I'm going to get into later. But, um, yeah, I'm going to make all their feeds now. G's just had his lunch. Uh, excuse me, doggies. Out, please. Come on. Out. Oh, so, as you can see, I did already make a start on these earlier. So, we've got some chop, some nuts. What are they going to so they all get like a quarter. Like I said, I'm not gonna go into it too much, but he gets a slightly bigger feed than most because he is bigger than most. And this is to feed Sunny, um, G, uh, Billy, and then Teddy at the end. Teddy and Billy don't get crazy amounts of feed because they're not actually in work, in full work. They get ridden about two to three times a week at the moment. They're not in full work at the moment. Also, cannot forget my little black jack. He only gets, well, that's actually too much. <laughs> he only gets a small one, but he he's very important still. Gonna give some of this. I don't use a whole lot of supplements for the horses, um, but we have like the joint balancer. And anyway, like I said, I'm gonna get into that another day. But with Sunny gets one. He gets one. Honey. These are actually grass nuts, which are kind of random, but we love these. It's doggies, please get out of the feed. give more to G because he spends hours carrot bobbing and it's the cutest thing. Couple to Sunny. Blackjack gets a couple and because it's New Year's Eve you can get one extra. Thank you. Draggy stop eating the seeds, come on. Some sugar beet. So we do wet our feed and I just prefer that. I think it helps them digest it better, but, and also most of my horses are very picky, so they won't actually eat it if it hasn't been soaked, especially G. He needs a lot of water. Give it a good stir. As you can see, Sonny's is not the biggest because he's on a bit of a diet. Same for, same for uh, Billy and Teddy, to be honest. Okay. So, let's put my gloves on. Let's take these to the boys. Ew. 
Ew, this one's, ah, oh, that's so leaky. Right, I'm gonna do that one in a minute. <laughs> It's the only problem with water, it does drip. So then what we do is we put the bags on top because we get birds who come and eat all the feed. So as you can see, we also use these uh, blue bags and what these, these are brilliant. We use these in place of hay nets because I don't particularly like hay nets. I like them to be able to eat off the ground. It helps them stretch. It helps them not get tight. It's just, for me, it's a lot better. And there's no chance of them getting tangled in a hay net. Because as we all know, horses are calamity. So with G, I also have to fill a bucket of water because his food, it expands, and, which is great, but then he won't eat it because it's too dry. So very, very fussy horse. But I'm gonna need a bit more water. So normally night checks are from anywhere from about 7, 7.30 to 8, 8.30. So tonight, I think I'll probably come down that little bit earlier because it is actually New Year's Eve. So I'm going to close all the windows and uh, make sure it's a bit more soundproof tonight than any other day. So that is us done for the afternoon and we will be back down later. So see you guys in a bit. I get every single time we come to do the night checks, they are always whinnying and ready for some food. So let's go feed them. Hi, Sunshine. Hello, grumpy boy. So I always also uh, check their temperatures at night, make sure they're all right, nice and cozy make sure they don't need another rug and I'm just going to go check the waters because I'm worried they might be frozen tonight so we'll just check those. Okay his is not frozen but it is full of hay. Look at that. Gross. Utterly gross. Sunny. You're disgusting. unload the bags onto the floor, easy. So we have done this process for years, so we've definitely made it as easy as possible. Hello, my man. Hi. Hi, Let's put some water in here. Oh, I know it looks excessive, but if I don't put all this water in, he will not eat it. I'll give it a big stir. Oh my gosh, Blackjack! Oops, gross. I'm 
coming, boys. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> it's just a lengthy process. That should be okay. Hi, Anson. So watching G E is our favourite pastime because he always bobs for his for his carrots and he gets his nose absolutely filthy. <laughs> Gee, you filthy. <laughs> Look at the state of that, you're so cute. Take the water. Noodle. Noodle, stop it. Here's what, he's got some ice on it. <laughs> this is how cold it is. Look at, look at the effect. These chunks of ice. He only gets such a small scoop because he has such a small tummy. This was a little bit frozen. So Blackjack does get a hay net because he is a little fatty and he will he will tear through his hay ridge. But we obviously have to put it on the lowest, on the lowest one. That's perfect, that'll do. Billy, I'm coming. Oh, Teddy even, I'm coming. Warm enough, of course you're warm enough, you're a shepherd. <laughs> and last but not least, hi needs half a bag because he's not finished all his from earlier. So leave that there for in the morning. So I'm going to go and close all the windows now because it's New Year's Eve and you know what that's like fireworks and it's so much better and more soundproofed in here when we close the windows and I'm also going to pop the radio on to prevent them hearing it. Right, time to do the uh, windows. So, I can't actually see anything. Yeah. <laughs> what this is, is a little pen to keep my little Shetland from escaping onto the road, but... <laughs> Little blackjack gets this whole area to graze. Oh, and a 
my own bucket. Thanks for that, Sunny. You nosy little thing. <laughs> I'm not sure if you guys can hear this, but the fireworks are already starting, so. <laughs> this is Blackjack Stable. <laughs> Isn't he cute? Good night, buddy. That is the stables and windows sorted. So we're just gonna go and pop the radio on and then we are done for the night. I might come back and check them in an hour or two because obviously it is New Year's Eve and there's loads of fireworks. So we'll see how that goes. So that is a standard night routine. Obviously normally I wouldn't close the windows and I'm about to put the radio on just because it's New Year's. But yeah, that's the night routine and night check. So I hope you guys enjoy this video and I'll see you next time.